Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2 and in this video tutorial made exclusively for Hachanda I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful striped glittered background and as you can see although this looks like a piece of paper that we've purchased a special print it's not it's actually all made with glitter so I'm going to bring in the materials that I need to do this and to start with the glitters that I'm using are the new eye zinc glitter pack this is the Christmas pack and in this you get the gold you get the red you get the silver you get the white and you also get the green and these have all got interference in them so they've all got a little bit of a holographic finish to them so I'm just going to move those away to one side because I've already decanted mine into little pots each pouch has 60 mils of glitter in there so there's more than enough. It will actually fill these pots around five to six times. So you don't have to worry about running out of it. So what I'm going to use next is I've got a sheet here of the A5 John Nextdoor double-sided adhesive, which is a super strong double-sided adhesive sheet. I've got a piece of plain white card. I have the John Nextdoor tartan stencil, and this has stripes, but obviously if you repeat it twice, it gives you a perfect tartan. In this occasion, we're going to be doing stripes with it. And I've also got a clear embossing ink pad. This is an eyes ink one, and I would suggest you use an older ink pad for this as you can actually mark it. So I always have two, one that's clean for stamping and embossing and one that I use for techniques. So the first thing I need to do is to take my stencil and I need to coat the back with the embossing ink. So just using the embossing ink pad, and I do this on the reverse of the card I'm going to use, so I don't waste anything. I ink it up as if I was inking a stamp. So it's simply laying down the ink onto here, and this will create a barrier between the stencil and the double-sided adhesive, meaning that it can be removed. If you don't do this, you will find your stencil will be stuck to the adhesive and it'll be very difficult to get it apart. So I just want to slide this to one side to turn my card over and I'm simply going to now add the double sided. So the sheet has a protective coating on both sides. So simply flick one corner off, peel the sheet off and then stick it down to the piece of card that you want to use just like this and if possible I always leave the grid line sheet till the end because this is the strongest piece on there. What I then need to do is to just take the corner of this one and reveal the adhesive. So now I have a piece of card with clear adhesive over it. I take the stencil and put down the embossed side onto the stencil. You'll see that they're both roughly the same size so just size it right and take the protective carrier sheet to place back on to push down and make sure the stencil is stuck down and is in contact with the adhesive. Now what we're going to do is to start to colour the stripes. So what I'm going to do is I want to colour first of all these two fine stripes. So here I've got some low tack tape and this is a 3M removable tape and I just want to mark off the sections that I don't want to glitter. And so on this occasion, what I want to do are these two stripes and these two stripes. So I'm simply going to mark those off, make sure you get a piece that's long enough. So we just mask those off There we go. I don't have to worry about masking off the rest. You can if you're concerned, but if you're careful, you won't need to. And now I'm taking the green and I'm just putting a small quantity running down where those stencil lines are. I'm going to repeat that on the next section, adding the green. And then I simply take my thumb or finger and push the glitter into the adhesive. Just running it down, making sure it's nicely stuck. And we then simply take another piece of card to put this away. 
and we take the brush and this is just a soft decorator's brush, nothing expensive and dust off the excess glitter. And there we have the two green stripes. And I would simply then add the glitter that's left carefully into the pot so we're not wasting any. If you do feel at first you're using an awful lot of glitter, but you're actually not. So that's the green done. So next what I want to do are the wider stripes. So I'm going to remove my low tack tape. And you can save this to use when we mask the next area. So take these off. And although I've got a little bit of glitter that you may be able to see just on that stripe, it won't matter, it will get covered. So next I want to do the narrowest. So I'm starting with the narrowest, then the next, and I do the largest stripes last. So I'm going to take the tape and you'll notice the tape is just large enough to cover those large stripes. So we take that, push that down, and again, and we're covering the largest stripes, just leaving now the smaller stripes in there. And those I'm going to do with the red. So it's simply a case of doing the same thing again. So run the red along those stripes. And on this time, I've got, I think it's, what is it, three? Is it six of these? So don't worry because you get so much glitter in the pack, you don't have to worry about running out. And as I said, the pack will fill these pots at least four or five, if not six times, depending on the size. So you're not going to worry too much. So just laying that down, exactly the same, just gently tapping on the pot. There we go. And then it's the same manoeuvre again. I just pull down using my finger just to make sure that the glitter is adhered to the adhesive. And don't worry, you can't stick on more than there is to stick on. And if it goes over the top, I missed a little bit there, if it goes over the top of the green, doesn't matter. That's no longer sticky, so that won't actually affect it. Got a little gap there there we go all done so we do the same maneuver again this time for the second time hold it up over a piece of paper and brush off all of the spare excess glitter a good brush down tap from behind to get any excess off and again we would put that to one side and we'll pour that back into the pot. So I'm going to move my card away. And I'm simply going to pour that back into the pot. You could use a large tidy tray if you have one. Um, but that's best if you're really concerned about the amount of glitter on this occasion. Because we've got so much in the pot, I am being a little bit profligate with it. So I'm just going to sweep down my desk area and clean the piece of card I've been using. And now we're going to do the last piece. So give that a really good dusting to get the excess off. Again, you can take a little bit more time at home. I'm trying to do this quickly. And now we simply need to reveal the final pieces of adhesive. So I'm taking off my low tack tape on the three wider stripes. There we go, take these off. And then I need to add the third colour. And this time I'm actually going to add silver. So I'm just going to again add the glitter down each of these three large stripes. There we go. And again, use my finger to smooth the glitter into each of those stripes and the adhesive. And again, you think you're using so much and you're really not using that much glitter at all. So again, onto the paper. And we use the brush and it's just a soft brush to take the excess off. And again, 
pop that back into our pot. Now, as I say, when you're doing this at home, just be a little bit more careful with putting your glitter back and take a little bit more time. And that way you won't get glitter in lots of places. I'm doing this very quickly. So that's my silver. And then all we need to do next, again, is give the piece a good polish to get the excess glitter off. But you can see the stripes are already forming. And at this point, you really do want to give this a really good dusting with the brush. Good press, get it all pressed down because we're going to add the background. Now, if we actually managed and correctly put the adhesive, the, non, the embossing glue on the back, you can see the stencil will just peel off. And that then reveals us the last stripes. So you can choose which colour to put on here for the end. What I'm going to do on this occasion, um, on the original I'd use some gold. This time I'm just going to use the white or the clear so that I really get this nice red, silver and green stripe. And all I'm doing is covering the whole piece with the clear glitter. And again, just use your fingers and rub it in. And again, at this point, you will feel or you'll think I've ruined it because you've covered it over. But wait until you reveal it and dust off. And when you dust off, you'll see the white glitter can't stick anywhere where there is already glitter. So what we've then got is our panel. So again, I would take the glitter that's left. and pour that back into the pot. So you see how much is left. I've hardly used any. You do feel like you've used a lot more than you have. So we're just gonna pop those away. There we go, and pop my lid back on. And when we bring in then, we've got our finished panel. So you can see there, final dust down, We've got the beautiful stripes. So we go from the red to the white, to the silver to the white, to the red to the white, to the green to the white, and so on. And all you would then do is trim this down. And there's actually lines on here to do this. So I'm going to trim along this top white line here to give me a straight edge to start with. I'm then going to bring in my Crafts 2 guillotine. Okay, let's just trim off a little bit on the bottom. And I can then use that straight edge at the top to make sure I get a nice straight edge down one side. Again, use that to make sure I get a nice straight line down that side. And once again, down the final side and we see there we've got our beautiful piece of finished striped glittered background and all you would do is cut into that as normal the adhesive sheets and the glitter will allow you to die cut that beautifully and I've done this here using the John next door Oundle die and I've just offset the pieces into it and the strip across there is from the piece at the bottom so a simple process that gives you a beautiful background and that looks as if you spent an absolute fortune on very expensive card. Of course, we haven't. We've used normal white card and the double-sided adhesive. Enjoy.